Dear Jesse, at the time of me writing this to you, it is five years in the future. It is currently September 24th, 2020. I presume you were 14, about to turn 15 years old. Let's just say that some shit is about to go down. First off, stop swearing every other sentence. It's not funny and people think that you're mentally ill. Trust me. Secondly, you join the wrestling team next year. You go on to lose every match your sophomore year, win a quarter of your matches your junior year, and then win three quarters of your matches your senior year, finishing with a 14-16 career record. It is your dream to go to UT Chattanooga and wrestle. It doesn't happen. You weren't able to keep your grades up and graduate with a high enough GPA. You end up graduating with a 2.2 GPA. You go to a community college. But that's okay because you become a history teacher and an MMA fighter. I understand that you're experiencing troubles with your self-identity and your sexuality. While I can't give advice because of time travel rules, I can give you words of wisdom. Don't do something stupid, like upload every detail of your personal life onto YouTube. Speaking of which, congrats! You get a YouTube channel with a whole 330 subscribers. Congratulations. And it only gets bigger by day by averaging 2-6 to six subscribers a day. You make so many amazing friends and meet so many amazing people through the internet as well as in real life. Although you don't have everything figured out and you are currently going through the pain of life known as puberty, I want to let you know that you make it out okay. You're 5 foot 11, 180 pounds with long luscious hair and a stout beard. People often mistake you for being older, or me for being older. I don't know how this works. Anyway, I hope you're doing okay. There's another thing that happens in the year that I'm currently writing this from. Because the Chinese government is communist scum, they decided to re release a deadly virus known as COVID-19. So the whole world gets put on lockdown for months. Yay. Other than that, everything is okay. There are many great content creators in 2020 on YouTube, including yourself, even if your channel is only at a certain number of subscribers. That's still good. And you should be appreciative for what you have. Okay, it's time to get serious. There are going to be a lot of people in this world who are going to tell you what to think and how to act towards certain groups of people. There's a movement that takes place that you become a part of. Remember, Love thy neighbor. As much as you hate to admit it, you're not an atheist. You're a diehard Christian who's at the mercy of a God who loves you regardless of who you are and what you do. Remember that whatever somebody does behind closed doors is none of your business, and that everyone deserves to be shown love and compassion and most importantly, silence. There are so many people who refuse to listen and hear opposing viewpoints. That is not you and shouldn't be you. Open your mind to every kind of thinking you can and get a clear view of the world around you. Watch YouTube videos, read books, and listen to Chopin. You love Chopin. Don't use your emotions for evil. Don't push people away. Instead, embrace your emotions, your angst, your sadness, and put it to a creative and wonderful use. Remember your grandparents and great-grandparents who loved you. Remember Grandpa and his love for orange juice and incredible guitar playing skills, which you were able to pick up in the future to play bass guitar. My last bit of words for you. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be angry or upset. But use your emotions in a healthy way. Listen to sad music. Remember it. Grief. And then move on. There's talk of toxic masculinity that is hurting the current generation of boys. In reality, it's just lack of compassion for boys. But as I finish writing this letter, I want to tell you something that you don't get told often. I love you. Sincerely, 
your future self, Jesse Heard. I tell you.